Welcome to Google Scholar. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Google Scholar profile so that people can follow the work that you do and be automatically notified of new papers and publications. Start by going to scholar.google.com. Once you go there, you can sign in with your Gmail account or create a Gmail account, which takes basically no time at all. Once you sign in, you can click on My Profile in the top left, and then you'll be given the option to complete your name, your affiliation, uh, enter your email, which will not be displayed, but which will be used by Google. You can type in your areas of interest and your homepage if you have one. So once you enter your information, go ahead and click Next. And now, Google will ask which papers could be yours that it knows about. So for instance, you've told Google your author name, so it'll pull up papers that have that author name, and you can select that by clicking the checkbox next to such papers that are yours and then hitting the blue Next button. And once you do that, Google will add that paper to your Google Scholar profile. The final step involves just a couple settings. Google wants to know whether it should automatically add papers to your profile, or if it should email you papers that uh, it thinks go on your profile so that you can review them. Also, this is where you can choose whether or not to make your profile public. If you're not yet ready, uncheck this box before hitting Done. The final step is to preview your profile. So you'll see your information here. You'll notice that your email address is not listed. It's just shown as either verified or not. Then you'll see your publications that we chose. You'll see that it lists the amount of citations of that paper as well as its publication year. You'll see that Google's tracking your citation information over time and giving you various citation indices as well as a list of your co-authors. So suppose you want people to be able to follow your work. All you need to do is make your profile public and then put that URL in places where people can find it, or people will be able to find you by just searching your name on Google Scholar once your Google Scholar profile is public. And when they find your profile, they'll see this, and they'll see this follow button. That follow button will give them three options. They can follow your new publications, they can follow citations of your existing publications, or they can follow publications that are related to your work. So what that means is that they'll receive emails automatically about these things without you having to do anything. So this is a great way for your work to be promoted without you having to go out and promote it.